More than ever, individuals are being seriously impacted as a result of country quota delays. Now, uh, nationals of India have been dealing with this for a very long time. And there's a lot of confusion out there in terms of how it is, how country chargeability is determined. So I just want to clarify a few things. First, chargeability is generally determined by country of birth. So for example, if one is uh, born in India and then immigrates to Canada and becomes a Canadian citizen, later they come to the United States, they acquire an uh, immigration visa and are you know through sponsorship by an employer and have a question about where do they stand as it relates to their priority date and ability to adjust status unfortunately that person despite having a canadian citizenship is still deemed to be chargeable to india based on country of birth so to be very clear a subsequently acquired nationality will not change the country of chargeability as it relates to calculation of your priority. Now, just a couple of caveats here. If you are uh, an individual who's chargeable to India and you immigrated to Canada, but instead of immigrating to Canada through employment-based means, you happen to marry a Canadian citizen who was born in Canada. And then you immigrate to the United States and apply for employment-based classification under the principal employer who is an Indian national with Canadian citizenship and born in India. When that individual who's married to a Canadian born citizen they are able to use what's called cross-chargeability. Cross-chargeability is where a spouse is able to use the country chargeability of their husband and or wife in order to uh, put, themselves, put themselves in a position to adjust status, regardless of who the principal immigrant is, meaning who is the beneficiary of the I-140, the either spouse's country of birth may be used for the purpose of chargeability. So it's really important to think about this. And I'll just give you one more scenario. For example, you may be an Indian national born in Saudi Arabia or the United Arab Emirates and have now um, come to the US and are thinking about immigrating or, or filing an I-140 petition. Now, in that case, your chargeability is not to India. Your chargeability is to Saudi Arabia or the United Arab Emirates, despite the fact that it is most likely the case that you do not have a Saudi Arabian or United Arab Emirates nationality. So again, the country of chargeability will be determined by place of birth and not by nationality and where one is married to an individual who is born in a country other than their own, they can use or leverage that spouse's country of birth for cross-chargeability in order to adjust status according to a more uh, available priority date.